What's going on everyone? It's Rank Up here, and today I want to talk a little bit about the Dragon's Teeth DLC that is coming out summer 2014 for Battlefield 4. Now in the background I have some boat action on the map Lost Islands, which is part of the Naval Strike DLC that came out a couple weeks ago here. So some good gameplay, I want like 27-0, some good kill streaks coming your way. Now on the Battlefield website they have a short description about Dragon's Teeth, and it's got me intrigued. I'll read it to you guys now. Experience all-out urban warfare in new multiplayer maps, taking place in war-torn cities locked down by the Chinese army. Now, how about a description? That, that's quite a description. And the fact about it is, it's an all-out warfare DLC. It sounds a lot like Close Quarters Combat from Battlefield 3, or the Close Quarters DLC, rather. And the war-torn cities locked down by the Chinese army sounds a lot like an invasion of America. Will we see a map like New York City, or possibly like a San Francisco? This could be a great addition, it would add so much variety to the Battlefield franchise. We haven't really seen this much, and I think that a lot of people would like this. Now there is a bit of controversy with this, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be quiet and hush-hush, because I know the Chinese government actually banned Battlefield 4 for the China Rising DLC. So, will Americans feel a little upset seeing the Chinese, you know, plummeting the, the American cities? Honestly, I think we're all mature enough to realize this is a video game. You know, when you go to a movie and you see Arnold Schwarzenegger become the Terminator, do you think immediately, oh no, we have to ban computers and technology and robots and all this stuff? No, you don't, you don't ban things just because, because it's fiction. I mean, everything would be banned at some point then, wouldn't it? Anyway, you know... <laughs> all jokes aside, I, I think this DLC is going to be great because of the close quarters. It's going to be a good change of pace. So, that's what I think. Now, we have some more information about something that's be being added. And if you haven't heard yet, we're getting two-handed ballistic riot shields to Battlefield 4. And this is coming from a DICE senior animator, Ryan Dolphin. Basically, he's talking about the team's thought process behind this and, and, and what, they, that, what they were thinking about. So here, here's, here's what he has to say. There was a lot of resistance at first, but the more we assessed it, the more we realized it was a better feature. It turns out that stopping bullets in a first-person shooter is a ton of fun. We're confident that it will create a new dynamic for the game. So, to me it sounds like a lot of people didn't like it, maybe because, it, like, if you're shooting at a guy and you can't kill him you know, with, a, with an assault rifle, I mean, if you don't have, like, an M320 or something like that, how are you supposed to take him out? You can flank him, throw a grenade, I suppose, but it turns out that maybe after a while you get used to the fact that there's riot shields on the map and you can kind of adjust your play style. But personally, I think they should limit this to just the Dragon's Teeth maps because, honestly, on maps that are open like this, you know, the Naval Strike maps in general, China Rising maps, it's not going to really work to have people running around with two-handed riot shields. It's just, I don't see it adding much to the battlefield experience. And this brings me to the next topic. Is this actually something that's a positive addition to the game? Or is it more bloatware? Is it just something that they're adding to kind of sell the game like hey look we have riot shields look at our game and honestly i think that's part of it you know they they want to sell more copies and a lot of people from call of duty are used to having riot shields i mean from modern warfare i remember using them when i used to play call of duty and i never really liked it i thought it was kind of a gimmick it didn't really work with the gameplay and with battlefield i feel like it's even worse because you have vehicles i mean what's the point of running around with a riot shield when a boat could come by and just take you out in one swipe like that just to me doesn't seem like a good addition sound off below guys i really like to know what your comments are or your feelings towards this your opinions just let me know i mean anybody can comment it and let me know what you think and we can all kind of have a discussion below i really want to know what you guys opinions are on this so we can kind of let dice know and hopefully they can restrict this to just the dragon's teeth dlc but that's about it for today, guys. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. And if you do like the video, subscribe, like, and share with a friend. Alright, this is Rank Up, signing out.